governments provide so many goods and services to its citizens so government function and finance is one important area which is called public finance so what government provides is public goods which are non rival and non excludable for example infrastructure defense law and order and many other services which are provided goods and services which are provided by the government non rival uh, goods uh, are those goods which are which once it is supplied to one person uh, it, uh, the, it the cost of supplying to other person uh, is 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 zero so that that makes it non rival a uh, non excludable is that if one good or service is provided to one consumer or to one citizen uh, you cannot allocate cost uh, to to the other people who are using that services so the 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 goods are used by you cannot exclude people from using that particular good so that's the difference between a public good and a private good so governments provide public good and they provide goods and services apart from uh, the infrastructure and defense and law and order and foreign service and all that they also provide services like education health and welfare is the responsibility of the government through its fiscal policy that is through public finance that is through its policy of uh, its tax uh, revenues and expenditure uh, governments efficiently allocate resources they distribute income and they create microeconomic stability governments are a very important uh, and a significant stakeholder in the economic activity they allocate resources they distribute income they uh, they take uh, they tax those people who have higher income and they spend on those people who have lesser income and they create macroeconomic stability because they have a control uh, they have mechanisms through which they uh, they can manage inflation and through which they can manage the prices so it's a very important macroeconomic uh, responsibility which the governments perform government's role is also to regulate uh, so that to regulate that is to enforce law uh, to ensure that the law is uh, whatever law that the government has passed through its parliament it is enforced so that markets they function and they function efficiently now the important thing is the question is its own size should stay small this is a debate that the size of the government should stay small what is the size of the government of pakistan there are different figures which uh, which speak or tell us the size of the government the size of the government with respect to gross domestic product that is gdp that is the number of goods and services produced in one year by all who are working in the economy that determines the gdp so what is the size of the government if you look at this which is a chart which is taken from the globaleconomy.com which is one of the world bank site uh, this data is taken from there and if you it gives it gives you a comparison of different countries vis-a-vis -vis pakistan if you see this the dark blue line which is at the bottom it shows that uh, it was in the mid 80s when the government spending uh, as a percentage of gdp was was highest and that is 1988 but it just fluctuated and it is in 2012 it was something like 11 point something so uh, it it has never been very high except for the mid 80s and if you compare it with other countries uh, i would suggest if you look at united states because united states is a country which says that government should have a smaller size and um, it's the private sector which should be providing goods and services to the people uh, even uh, compared to that pakistan's is much uh, much uh, lesser government expenditure is much lesser governments that have more a better social welfare system or better education system or better health system amongst these is germany and if you look at its expenditure is uh, is pretty high but it's not only the 
a government expenditure which is important but it is also how efficiently the government is using its resources for all its uh, uh, expenditures or for providing all the goods and services to the citizen it requires money it needs money and how does this money uh, is it, it takes money from the citizen in the form of taxes that it la levies uh, in fines there are certain fines that it levies uh, then there are borrowings which are internal and external borrowings and uh, internal borrowings are through the banking system uh, there are other means through which the government raise its resources this could be by floating different bonds so different means by which the government raises its revenue apart from the taxes the taxes is one means of raising its resources so um, according to the article uh, 77 of the constitution no tax shall be levied for the purpose of federation except by or under the authority of the parliament so all the taxes of the government for every tax that the government levies it has to go to the parliament and through the finance bill which it submits in every um, every budget it has to get the approval from the parliament for levying uh, taxes so parliament is a place where this approval is sought it's not an administrative decision so government has to tax in a fair and a just manner to achieve sustained growth which means that it should tax the taxes should be um, uh, the taxes should be progressive they must be fair they must be uh, just to achieve a sustained growth uh, in addition to that uh, to meet its obligation uh, the budget must be balanced this debate of a balanced budget or a deficit budget is a long debate uh, and it, it takes place in different countries uh, this debate uh, uh, takes place in UK but they say the, the, the level of deficit of the budget should be within certain limits it should not cross certain limits they say 6% uh, or less than that uh, budget uh, if there is a deficit otherwise the government should try to balance its budget uh, as far as it is possible but it should also have better financial management of its money of its purse and it should have a prudence policy of expenditure so uh, this these are the fundamentals of a good financial public financial management